In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. All are welcome. It sounds familiar, and a lot of times we practice that. I remember three years ago today, maybe I had a first mass right here in St. Jerry, and you welcomed me. And maybe 30, 29 years ago, our family came to the United States, and the United States of America welcomed me. This church is a church for all, and we're very proud of it. We have very diverse members and community here. With the flag right behind me, we celebrate the independent days that we pray and ask God to continue to bless our country so that our country to build on that love, unity, and peace. And so today, let us, my brothers and sisters, praise God, give God thanks, because the response to a psalm already practiced for us. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. We have a lot of gratitude and joy to give God. And so this moment, let us ask God for that freedom within so that we truly live out our vocation and our belief. Almighty God, have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting.
us pray. O God, who in the abasement of your Son have raised up a fallen world, fill your faithful with holy joy. For on those you have rescued from slavery to sin, you bestow eternal gladness. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated to listen to the Word of God. You can find the reading in a gather book too. Number 1039, if you have the catechism. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, Rejoice with Jerusalem and be glad because of her, all you who love her. Exult, exult with her, all you who were mourning over her. Oh, that you may suck fully of the milk of her comfort that you may nurse with delight at her abundant breast. For thus says the Lord, Lo, I will spread prosperity over Jerusalem like a river, and the wealth of the nations like an overflowing torrent. As nurslings you shall be carried in her arms and fondled in her lap. As a mother comforts her child, so I will comfort you. In Jerusalem you shall find your comfort. When you see this, your heart shall rejoice and your bodies flourish like the grass. The Lord's power shall be known to his servants. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Galatians. 
Brothers and sisters, may I never boast except in the cross of our Lord Jesus Christ, through which the world has been crucified to me, and I to the world. For neither does circumcision mean anything, nor does unincircumcision, but only a new creation. Peace and mercy be to all who follow this rule and to the Israel of God. From now on, let no one make troubles for me, for I bear the marks of Jesus on my body. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with your spirit, brothers and sisters. Amen. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, Lord. At that time, the Lord appointed 72 others, whom he sent ahead of him in pairs to every town and place he intended to visit. He said to them, The harvest is abundant, but the laborers are few. So ask the master of the harvest to send out laborers for his harvest. Go on your way. Behold, I am sending you like lambs among wolves. Carry no money bag, no sack, no sandals, and greet no one along the way. Into whatever house you enter, first say, Peace to this household. If a peaceful person lives there, your peace will rest on him. But if not, it will return to you. Stay in the same house and eat and drink what is offered to you, for the laborer deserves his payment. Do not move about from one house to another. Whatever town you enter, they welcome you. Eat what is set before you. Cure the sick in it and say to them, The kingdom of God is at hand for you. Whatever town you enter and they do not receive you, go out into the street and say, The dust of your town that clings to our feet, even that we shake off against you. Yet now this, know this, the kingdom of God is at hand. I tell you, it will be more tolerable for Sodom on that day than that town. The 72 returned rejoicing and said, Lord, even the demons are subject to us because of your name. Jesus said, I have observed Satan fall like lightning from the sky. Behold, I have given you the power to tread upon serpents and scorpions and upon the full force of the enemy, and nothing will harm you. Nevertheless, do not rejoice because the spirits are subject to you but rejoice because your names are written in heaven. The gospel, the good news of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus Christ. How many of us here believe that our name and your names are already written in heaven? Oh, this group is weaker than the 8 o'clock group. The 8 o'clock group, maybe 80% raised their hand and said, yes, I believe my name already in heaven. Even Tommy didn't believe that. Tommy used to have a long way to go or something here. Today, I think 
the theme for us is to rejoice. Even though we still have a quite a few things to do, but I think we need to rejoice, especially today, it's the weekend of uh, the 4th of July. We rejoice because we did it. Those who in the war may be sitting there and sit back and say, boy, it took a lot of sacrifices. A lot of people died for us. The first reading today gave us some insight because the church is like the mother. And the mother feeding, caring, fondling the child. And the best picture, if you could imagine that a child, a baby, right next to her bosom, next to her, like she feed, breastfeeding her. And in the world of the baby at that time is nothing but my mom and me. The church is like that, my brothers and sisters. When we come into this kind of church, it's like we go into our mother's womb again, to our mother's arms again, and let the mother to feed us to protect us, to teach us how to live and how to say and how to speak right. And so in Isaiah today, God say, as the mother care and loved you, will I also love you. That's how beautiful it is. And I'm living in this country for almost 30 years now. Sometimes I kind of like compare with my friends in Vietnam. I don't want to put Vietnam down, but my, my classmates, they all 50 years like me. And sometimes I'm standing next to them when I went back to Vietnam, a little bit taller, a little bit taller. Well, my skin is smoother. I look a little bit handsomer than those guys. But I remember all the things that you see here, not just actually I was born like this. Because I ate so much good stuff here in the United States. Yes? Cheese and wine and margarita sometimes. That helped me to be strong and beautiful. And so we need to give thanks to God for this country, especially those who give us so much and of course, I can't take credit for what I have. It's all gifts from God. So today, let us give a round, a big round of applause to all the people who did something for us so that we can drive on the street, we can pray freely. Now I'm thinking about in my country back then, we have to have a permission to pray. But here in this country, you can do almost anything you want because you have that freedom that God has given us. Ukraine right now has to battle every day for their security, for their life. And so let us give a big round of applause to give thanks to God for this country. The second thing that I wanted to point out today is from the second reading to Galatians. St. Paul said, may I never boast, but only boast in the cross of Jesus Christ. What does that mean? He satisfied what his life already. All the comfort that mommy and daddy and family and country gave him, maybe he said, I am so grateful and joyful for this. But to the next level of discipleship, Paul said, Maybe only in suffering with Jesus, I even share my joy with him and with others. Only when we suffer physically ourselves, we be able to have some compassion and empathy with others. And I can't imagine those who struggle with terminal illness. You know, I have a friend right behind our church here. She almost... 60 some years old now and working tirelessly her whole life and suddenly the doctor gave her a bad news. 
that you have a tumor, breast cancer. She didn't cry. Her husband cried. And of course, the whole family cried with her. Desperate news, my brothers and sisters. Nobody wants to hear that terminal illness or cancer. At the same time, a lot of patients with cancer, they live with that cancer long enough, they give thanks to God for that cancer. That's weird, right? Why? Because God gave them enough time to prepare for their own life. And sometimes because of that terminal illness, that illness pulls and draws all the family members together. It doesn't matter how divided they were before. It doesn't matter what's going on among the siblings before, but they've forgotten all that because of one person in the family need prayer and need care. And so maybe in that suffering, God is not absent in our suffering, but God is there for us. And we need to give God thanks, boast in the suffering of Christ. Give God thanks because through suffering, somebody gains some salvation as well. The third situation, and I encourage you to pray with me here. Jesus said to his disciples, don't rejoice because the spirit subjected to you. Don't rejoice because you can cast out demons, but rejoice because your name is written in heaven. A lot of times when we do something here, we love to be recognized we want to be known. We want to be famous. I remember when I was 12 years old, I wanted to become a saint. You know, 12 years old, you have an innocent mind and spirit. Become a saint because you want one day people worship you, yes? People remember you. And hopefully they will put a statue there and they... And then one day when I get older, I still had that idea, I said, God, I want to become a saint, but one day when I become a saint, make sure I have a statue somewhere. And God said, no statue, Dad. How about the icon of my face? No icon, no picture. How about written on somewhere so people come in, they can remember me? No name tag. Do you still want to become a saint? Today, God wants us don't just seek for earthly recognition, but heavenly recognition. Don't just go out there and try to, to compete among ourselves so that who's bigger and greater. But remember, everything we do, everything, a little thing, already recognized by God. The gospel today gives us a lot of, we call disciple examination. We all are disciples of God. When Jesus called 72 disciples, because it includes us in there, not just the 12 apostles, 72. Now, who are these disciples? They are called and chosen and sent by God. The harvest is abundant, but laborers are shortest. We live in a church today that we don't have enough people even going to church. You are the 72 right now, and you have a mission. You are called and chosen and sent at the end of the Mass. The Mass is ended, go. I'm sending you like lambs among wolves. Go, and go do what? Don't create more violence and divisions, but tell the people you see, peace to you. We are peace deliverer. We deliver peace, not war, not violence. And if people don't receive our peace, don't worry. That peace will come back to you. God is the God of peace. And the third one I like to remember, remember or remind you, that we are not the host, but we are the guests. When we come to their house, 
eat what they serve us, drink what they give us, and stay with them. Don't hop around and don't make more attention to ourselves, but stay with them, be present with them. And the last one, and I like it, we are called to be healers, not leaders, not conquerors. Our names written in heaven. Let's go out there, allow God to walk through us and heal our country today. We are called not to be leaders, but to be healers. Jesus was not a leader. We love to lead with our experiences, with our sacrifices and all our excellence. But Jesus was a healer. He came to heal the sick. He came to cause sinners. And so today, let us examine ourselves. How am I doing with my faith, with all the comfort and blessings that God has given us? And can we go out there, deliver peace, be with people, come for the sake, Pray with them because our name already written in heaven. I reminded my people here sometimes that I said, I already paid, not hourly, not yearly, but eternally. It depends on me, do I want to work or not? Because God loved us so much. God wants to see us again in heaven. Amen. Please stand and let us offer to God our beautiful faith. I believe in one God, heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten and not made consubstantial with the Father. To him all things were made for us men and for our salvation. He came down from heaven and by the Holy Spirit was incarnated of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified and upon just Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand he will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken to the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. My dear brothers and sisters, let us rejoice as we pray to God who sends us forth to heal, preach, and spread peace to the world. For the evangelizing mission of the church, that it continues to bear fruit in every corner of the world, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our country, as we celebrate the fourth, we may exult in her success and work to spread prosperity to all her people, especially the vulnerable, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the people of Ukraine, those who have died and the millions who have fled and seek refuge in other countries, especially for the children, we pray to the Lord. Lord, be our prayer. For our military personnel serving around the world, may they continue to strive to give the freedom that our country enjoys 
we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who are traveling over this holiday weekend, may they be protected and kept safe, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our parish community of St. Gerard, may we cast out harmful spirits and share in God's abundant harvest of love and peace, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who have died, especially parishioners of St. Jared, and for the intentions of this Mass, Dan and Faye Lejeune and the Adams Barbier that passed from this life be comforted in heaven, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray in silence for our intentions and the special intentions of others through Jesus. We remember all the souls of our soldiers, those who sacrificed their own lives for our sake, for the sake of peace in the war in our country. We pray to the Lord. Hear our prayer. God of abundance, you give us all good things in order that your kingdom may be firmly established. Hear our prayers that we might enjoy with you everlasting life. We ask all this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. We have a second collection today for our church maintenance. And thank you very much for your generosity. Our offertory hymn is number 631 in the Breaking Bread hymnal. Please join in singing the Canticle of the Turning, number 631. My soul cries out with a joyful shout that the God of my heart is great, and my spirit sings of the wondrous things that you bring to the ones who wait. You fixed your sight on your servant's plight, and my weakness you did not spurn. So from east to west shall my name be
pray, my sisters and brothers, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, our loving Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of the May this oblation dedicated to your name purify us, O Lord, and day by day bring our conduct closer to the life of heaven. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For you so love the world that in your mercy you sent us the Redeemer to live like us in all things but sin, so that you might love in us what you love in your Son, by whose obedience we have been restored to those gifts of yours that by sinning we had lost in disobedience. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks as in exhortation we acclaim. The font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like a dewfall, so that it may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and gave him thanks, broke it, and gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of a new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation. Giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be guided into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Michael Gerard, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters, especially those we mentioned in this Mass, who have fallen asleep in the hope of resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that will the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, Blessed Apostles, 
Saint Jerry, blessed sea laws, and all the saints have pleased you throughout the ages. We may marry to be co heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. to give thanks to God always in all situations, especially today we have so much and so many reasons to give thanks to God and so we continue to remember those who still struggle out there. We pray for more peace and unity in our country, in our home, in our city today. And so together we cry out to God with joy and say, Our Father, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ, for the kingdom, the power, and the glory of the Lord. Lord Jesus Christ said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with Let us share with each other the sigh of peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who call to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be. May the body and blood of Christ keep us safe for eternal life. Amen.
before the final prayer, I would like to uh, recognize a couple people I know that we don't want to recognize because your name already in heaven, but I still want to call out uh, those who serve in our military or services uh, for our country, uh, first responders even. Uh, please stand so that we can just give you a wonderful uh, thank you. Uh, so you have me. Thank you very much. It takes a lot. Um, July 17, which is in two weeks, Sunday, 10 o'clock like this, we'll have a blue mass. And as you know, blue mass is for, uh, to pray for first responders and all the people serving public. It takes a lot, not just a first responder to have a true peace in our city or country. Everybody has to do that. But uh, we will have that mass to honor and to pray and pull people together and unite in prayer. And so uh, I would love to invite you to, to come back for that. Put it in your calendar, July 17. Uh, we've been doing this for, uh, for four years and we stopped in a pandemic. Uh, so we, the bishop gave us a permission to come to do this again. And uh, I think this is a, the hallmark for our community here. So, Keep in, uh, keep in mind that and even spread out the, the invitation to all the families for me. Uh, again, this is another one. Uh, in a bulletin, you will read uh, a short uh, article about uh, called Disciples Cry Out uh, with Joy, uh, written by Tommy Murphy. Tommy Murphy, he's the one who bring in a lot of uh, joy to our community. And he also did a lot of work uh, to, to promote not just the name and the mission here, but he actually put a lot of effort and time to uh, help the added treasure and treasure so that at the end of their sale, they give us money. So that's the whole thing. We not just do it for fun, we do it for money. And so Tommy is right here. Please stand and like, and Gary Casemore as well, and those who are involved in this bring the trash and create it into treasure and give money. I, last year, they, they gave us $20,000. And this, just this year, they gave us 30 more thousand dollars and that money given to our school to support our school. So Tommy Murphy, Gary Case Mall, please stand up so we can Gary promote, uh, give the truck. Tommy, be the speaker. 50000 dollars in two years. And that's a lot of work, but because of their heart and their love for our mission here. So thank you very much for, for this. Now, if we recognize you here, uh, Tommy, then your name's taken off from heaven. Is that okay? <laughs> it's, okay. it's up there. Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> so uh, after Mass, we have Anointing of the Sick. It's the first Sunday, so right after the uh, closing prayer, uh, closing hymn, we will have Anointing of the Sick here, and um, uh, Michael will bless you with the relics of the sea law. So uh, please stand. Let us offer to God our beautiful prayer, the last prayer. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that having been replenished by such great gifts, we may gain the prize of salvation and never cease to praise you through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. 
May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Let us go in peace and glorify the Lord by our lives. Thanks be to God. storm clouds gather far across the sea let us swear allegiance to a land that's free let us all be grateful for a land love help you with the grace of the Holy Spirit. May the Lord who freed you from sin save you and raise you up on the last day. Through this holy anointing, may the Lord in his love help you with the grace of the Holy Spirit. May who free you from sin save you and raise you up on the last day. Through this holy anointing, may the Lord in his love help you with the grace of the Holy Spirit. May the Lord who free you from sin save you and raise you up on the last day. Spirit, and the Lord will free you from sin, save you, and raise you up on the last day. Amen. Through this holy anointing, may the Lord in His love help you with the grace of the Holy Spirit, and the Lord will free you from sin, save you, and raise you up on the last day. Amen. Through this holy anointing, may the Lord in His love help you with the grace of the Holy Spirit. May the Lord will free you from sin, save you, and raise you up on the last day. Amen. Through this holy anointing, may the Lord in His love help you with the grace of the Holy Spirit. May the Lord will free you from sin, save you, and raise you up on the last day. Amen. Through this holy anointing, may the Lord in His love help you with the grace of the Holy Spirit. May the Lord will free you from sin, save you. You up on the last day. Amen. Through this holy anointing, may the Lord in His love help you with the grace of the Holy Spirit. May the Lord will free you from sin, save you, and raise you up on the last day. Through this holy anointing, may the Lord in His love help you with the grace of the Holy Spirit. May the Lord will free you from sin, save you, and raise you up on the last day. This holy anointing, may the Lord in His love help you with the grace of the Holy Spirit. May the Lord will free you from sin, save you, and raise you up on the last day. Amen. All right, my men. Through this holy anointing, may the Lord in His love help you with the grace of the Holy Spirit. May the Lord will free you from sin, give you grace up on the third day.
Spirit, may the Lord free you from sin, save you, and raise you up on the last day. Amen. In His holy anointing, may the Lord in His love help you with the grace of the Holy Spirit. May the Lord who free you from sin, save you, and raise you up on the last day. From sin, save you and raise you up on the last day. Amen. John. Through this holy anointing, may the Lord in His love help you with the grace of the Holy Spirit. May the Lord who free you from sin save you and raise you up on the last day. Amen. Through this holy spirit, may the Lord free you from sin save you and raise you up on the last day. Amen. Through this holy anointing, may the Lord in His love help you with the grace of the Holy Spirit. The Lord will free you from sin, save you, and raise you up on the last day. Through this holy anointing, may the Lord in His love help you with the grace of the Holy Spirit. May the Lord will free you from sin, save you, and raise you up on the last day. Amen. Through this holy anointing, may the Lord in His love help you with the grace of the Holy Spirit. May the Lord will free you from sin, save you. Spirit, may the Lord will free you from sin, save you, and raise you up on the last day. Amen. Through this holy anointing, may the Lord in His love help you with the grace of the Holy Spirit. May the Lord will free you. 